What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are going to be doing a Diamond Anthony Davis gameplay. So this Diamond Anthony Davis, 93 offense, 95 defense overall. He's a 6'10 center, so he's a little bit undersized to that position. 15 gold badges, including gold rim protector, which is a little bit weird. I'll get on to why later. He's also got a posterizer, good enough post game, uh, well, post badges as well. He's got 95 driving lip, 92 post uh, fadeaway, 90 post hook. 89 open shot mid, but only a 70 open shot three. Like, if you compare him to, let's go power forwards. If you compare him to his heat check card, he goes minus six and three ball. And if you compare him to his normal card, he goes minus four and three ball. So, the three pointer's actually gone down. You know, I kind of like the way the 2K are doing it. If they don't shoot well for that game, they've got lower ratings. And it means that there's opportunity for Davis to get another diamond moments card. And for that diamond moments card to be better at certain things. But um, this is where Davis really, really shows. Obviously, he's got a great dunk rating. Um, but look at that. 65 block. 65 block. Like, he's amethyst. I don't know what he goes down from his amethyst. Let's see what he goes down. He goes down 15 in block rating for his amethyst. I know he didn't have a block in the game, but, like, come on, 2K. That is awful. He's got good rebounding stats. got great speed and acceleration. Decent speed of ball. Okay, lower quickness. He's got good on-ball defensive IQ. Okay, low post defensive IQ. But, like, you take out the badges... And, like, he's better in the post. Mid-range goes way up. Three balls down. Free throw is also down 17. He went from, goes from an 83 to a 66. Dunk goes up a little bit. Passing goes up, but that doesn't matter. His block goes down. His steal goes down. His rebounding goes up a good bit. Speed obviously goes up. But, like, he's not... E by stats-wise, he's not even that much better than the Amethyst, which is really, really weird. The team we're going out with is Andre Iguodala at the 1. Clay Thompson at the 2. Michael Finley at the 3. Actually, I'm going to switch this. I'm going to put Finley at the 1 and Iggy at the 3. Andre Karolenko at the 4, who this is the first time I'm actually using him in the squad because we just picked him up. And uh, we got Anthony Davis at the 5. The bench, we have got Oscar Robertson at the 1. Mitch Richmond at the 2. Uh, we've got Danny Granger at the 3. LeBron at the 4 and Griffin at the 5. With Brooke Lopez, Brandon Roy, and Darius Miles rounding off the bench. So, yep, this is the team we are running with. Actually, I'm going to change this up. I'm going to take out Miles and I'm going to put in Tom Gugliotta just in case I need him. So anyway, now let's go over the hot zones for Anthony Davis, then we are going to get on to the game. So Anthony Davis, his right arm looks so, so much bigger than his left arm. I don't know what's up, but it just looks really weird with this sleeve. It's like he's literally wearing um, a hoodie on his right arm. It just looks absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why, maybe it's just me. But, um, wow, you just hit the three there. Anthony Davis, obviously, he's got good dunk animations. Um, he's going to be quite decent in the post. Got a good post looking fadeaway. Although, historically, no one really uses Anthony Davis for his post game. More so just a running uh, stretch four who can block shots. Unfortunately, he can only do two of those things. Well, can't really shoot the ball too well. He can uh, run. That's about all he, what he can do. The biggest things with Davis was that he used to be able to shoot and also that he could block shots really well and be mobile and versatile. Unfortunately, he's only able to do one of those things now. But um, if he's wide open, he might be able to hit some threes, especially from the corner anyway. But as you guys see there, there from the full white bar, it's going to be quite, quite difficult. So uh, yeah, now it's just green one three. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long. And now let's get on to the game. All right, so we're playing quite a weak team. We should be all right. We definitely should be all right. We have really struggled so far. That's putting it lightly, saying we've really struggled. Steal. There we go. This has to be an easy dunk for Anthony Davis. It's all right. It took him a minute, but we finally got a score. Okay, he's not getting that fadeaway. Green and light, Anthony Davis. Let's go. Four and two. Not too bad a to start anyway. Oh, Davis got him to spin, has he? Yep. Oh, just he's about to get the dunk. My opponent rage quits. It's all right. Easy win. All right, so playing against. It's an all right team. Oh, we've made this guy rage quit in our last game. This is the guy we made rage quit the Sapphire squad, wasn't it? Actually, no, I was wrong. I was wrong. It wasn't the Emeralds. It was the 100k squad that I beat this guy with. Why is AD stuck? Okay, go past Finley, green light. Okay, they left him wide open. There we go. First point to the game. I'll throw it up. Good pass by Finley and great dunk there by Davis. Got him, easy dunk. There we go. I know he's got six points, but like he is like three of ten. <laughs> I'm not even joking, I genuinely think he's three of ten. We got him to spin, nice move by Davis, good finish. Let's go, we get the lead again. 
we're there, aren't we? Really? Tie game. Thought we were there. Your Richmond's probably the only person who can hit this shot if he gets it. Good shot. Good shot, Mitch Richmond. Let's go. Three point lead at the end of the first. Wide open, Granger, green. I think he's just giving up taking smart shots. I think he's just trying to take dumb shots with Iverson because he's realized they go in. Shot by Granger. There we go. Honey rage quit. All right, so we're playing against an all bronze lineup here. I don't really know what this guy's doing. Is this to bring team? He's trying to bring team overall down. He's got five bronzes. I don't know why, what he thought. Like some people think that that works. Obviously it doesn't. Get him in. Easy dunk for Anthony Davis. It's a good start. You got him. Let's lay up Anthony Davis. Let's go. And if this Anthony Davis had like an 83 ball, he'd be just unreal. Fortunately, it's like 70. What the hell was that? I don't know. It was a ridiculous shot, but it went in by Anthony Davis, so I'll take it. Shooting 100% from the field right now. Group by four. Oh no, that head to the basket animation is back. I hadn't seen that in a while. I don't think I think that's like the first or second time I've seen that in 2K19. 2K18 literally went in every single time. Not the best three ball though for Davis, but he knocks it down. It's a good shot. I hate the way like when you see them on their bench, it's hard to tell which diamond LeBron it is. Like it could be doing with no mid-range shot, or it could be doing with no uh, block. So it's always hard to tell with this. Uh, it's gonna be hard to tell with this new moment system. Stop. Shot by green light. Been in. Good job, John DeFell, Davis. Okay, let's knock this one down. Oh, I forgot his free throw's gone down like 17. It's really bad. Oh, he blew both of them. He went right down and hit a shot. Oh, no, I completely forgot about how bad his uh, free throw is now. Nice move by Davis, good finish. Davis gets a step on him. Easy dunk. Oh, let's go defense, lads. Let's go. To Oscar Robertson. Find Mitch Richmond. Stop. Green light. Stop. Another three. Another green for Mitch Richmond. They left Clay open again. Oh, my God. This guy's just not playing defense anymore. Not a great shot by LeBron. But board. Davis gets boards, though. He gets a series made the boards. Will he try to fail? No, he doesn't. Shot there by Karolinko. Up to fake. It's a really tough shot. Good board again by Karolinko. Mid range with Davis. Misses again. The three Davis. Knocks it down. Easy midi. Blake has yet, to, or not Blake. Anthony Davis has yet to hit a mid range shot in the two games I played. Like he's literally missed every single mid range shot he's taken in both of the games. Whether it's open, contested, doesn't matter. He's actually he's actually shot two of two from three, I think. Or maybe not two of two, but a good, good enough percentage from three anyway. Easy dunk for Davis. Let's go. I got 22. All right, start is back in for the last, whatever, three minutes of the game. And they got Isaac Bonga in the game. They got the lowest rate of bronze in the game. Although, to be fair, of all bronzes, he's one of the ones that's actually usable. I used him in the tournament in week one just because he's 6'9 and a little bit mobile. Okay, good dunk by Davis. I think he's just completely stopped playing defense. Nice layup by Davis. There we go. He's now going to take over for most of these last two minutes, I'd say. Like, they're the shots that he's been hitting all game with uh, Peja. Like, it's nuts. Like, this game would be... And this would be a 40-point game if he wasn't hitting these mad shots with Siakovic. Great dunk by Davis. Let's go. That's what he's just going to do. He's just going to go to Peja. No matter what defense he plays, it doesn't matter if he's Gatorade symbol or not. He's just going to hit everything. Fade away. Doesn't matter. Like, he's literally... <laughs> I know we were a bit late there, but that was literally a fadeaway three. Green light, Anthony Davis. Right back at them. Like, we'll take over. Spins in. Easy layup. Here we go. He might end up with 40. Bonga. I don't have to defend them. That's a ridiculous shot from Isaac Bonga. Maybe rosters Isaac Bonga can hit that, which is way better than my team Bonga, but definitely not my team. 63 overall, Isaac Bonga. Good dunk by Davis to give him 40. 
So in the end, Anthony Davis, 17 of 22 from the field at 40 points, 11 of 15 in the second half, and in the fourth quarter, he was four, sorry, he was seven of seven, and the first half, he was actually six of seven with 13 points. So um, he also got seven boards to assist, which is quite good. Blake Griffin with 17, Clay Thompson with nine, Mitch Richmond with eight, LeBron James at six, Karolenko at five, Brook Lopez at three, Big O with two, and Finley, Iguodala, Danny Granger didn't score, and Roy and Gugliotta did not play. So in general, I really like this Anthony Davis card. Like, it's a really good card, don't get me wrong. Like, it's not one of the best centers. It, like, it is one of the best centers in the game, but it's not like a standout center. It's not worth over 100K. Like, it's nowhere close to this Blake Griffin if they are about around the same price. But um, what I would do, I wouldn't really suggest you guys to buy him because eventually Davis is gonna have a good shooting game and he's not gonna get a pink diamond. So there's probably gonna give maybe a diamond 94, 95 overall Anthony Davis out when he does have a good shooting game. If this card had either a high block or a high three ball, with all the stats it has, this card would be unbelievable. However, it doesn't have either of them. So it just leaves a little bit to be desired. Not a bad card, like not a bad card, a really good card. Just not quite elite in this game. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.